Well, so I'm sure this report doesn't come to you as any surprise. Uh, joining us in the studio is e-crimes and cybercrime analyst with the e-crimes bureau, Eric Mensa. Eric, thank you for your time. So what are the associated risks yeah. with the increased use of mobile money as a preferred means of payment? Okay. Now, um, good afternoon again to your uh, viewers. Mobile money has become the preferred choice, and criminals are preying on key vulnerabilities uh, within the system. Key amongst them is the lack of security consciousness of uh, subscribers. And you realize that scams is one, counterfeiting, and then in terms of the institution, uh, target to, uh, on institutions, people or cyber criminals are targeting web portals and some integrations that uh, institutions do relative to mobile money transactions. Yeah, and so yes. who's supposed to limit or, if you like, reduce this risk? Is it the regulator? Um, everybody has a part to play. Mm. For example, uh, the regulator will have to set out uh, guidelines and regulations in terms of fraud management. For the telco point of view, uh, from e-crime, we, 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 uh, our, 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 you know, we will have to really look at uh, security awareness, sensitization. Yes, sensitization. Mm -hmm. So the telcos will have to uh, sensitize people on uh, cyber crime and then mobile money fraud cases. For example, we have dealt with MTN and MTN, we've worked with them in terms of fraud and uh, mobile money uh, sensitization with tel uh, the, the judiciary and then the police and even the um, journalists. All right. Trained All, right. All right, Eric, I've got to say a big thank you to you. Eric uh, yeah. is a cybercrime analyst with e-crimes bureau. Thank you, Eric Mensah, for your time.